We will break in and take the money ourselves. Huh? You gotta be kidding! You mean we're gonna steal it? Of course not. We are merely protecting the money so that the bank robbers cannot get it. You guys ever think Magneto just forgets what his superpower is sometimes? Like, magnetism is super cool and everything, but it's not telepathy? Like, his intimidation and gaslighting skills are through the roof, but it's not the same. Maybe that's why he's always feuding with Professor X. He didn't want magnetism. He wanted mind control. Like, imagine if that helmet didn't even stop psychic attacks. So Charles is just humoring him, like a child throwing a tantrum. What is the weirdest weapon you've ever seen used in a cartoon? I'll go first. This was a really odd thing for me to just randomly remember, but for some reason this is all I could think of. It's from Static Shock. <laughs> Come and get him! Yep. Basically napalm hot dogs. I swear, sometimes this show is an absolute fever dream in the best way possible. Vince McMahon is cartoonishly evil. For the longest time, everyone just assumed Vince wasn't as bad as his WWE persona, but many, many people have been stepping forward to claim otherwise. But the stuff you see on camera might not be as bad as the stuff that almost happened. Chris Jericho mentions in an interview that Vince wanted him to wrestle live on Monday Night Raw completely naked. Chris adamantly refused, saying he would get arrested since there was children in the audience, and Vince tried to argue with Jericho saying, oh, it won't matter, we'll just shoot it from a faraway angle. And Chris then goes on to clarify, it doesn't matter. My dong will still be in the shot. I'm not doing it. Vince then angrily screams, Well, what are we supposed to do? Oh my god, it's Jermaine Neutron. That's like a $20 cab ride from his eyebrows to his hairline. Guy is one bottle of blue face paint away from being a DreamWorks villain. Bro could fill out an entire top hat. You know what? Hang on a second. I rest my case. I would definitely eat that. If I wasn't in a hurry, I would take some hot dog buns, toast them with garlic butter, slice of cheese, a little bit of mustard, maybe some potato bread instead of plain hot dog buns, maybe drop the egg and add some chili instead of a chili dog. Man, now I really want a chili dog. What toppings do you guys add to your hot dog? So I saw this post about someone who went to Buffalo Wild Wings and they called the restaurant because the store was completely empty for like over 10 minutes. Nobody at the counter, nobody to greet the customers. And I can sympathize. I've been burned twice at McDonald's, only at the drive-thru. 30 minute wait for biscuits and gravy two times. First mistake was using the drive-thru. Always use the app and get it in-store pickup if you can. I hate it too. I don't want 10 different fast food apps, but if you don't use it, then people you don't even see are just cutting in front of you because they pretty much prioritize mobile orders nowadays. I do sympathize with the workers though because a lot of those places are massively understaffed. I ordered from Jack in the Box once and they only had one person running the whole store at night. So my question is, what is the longest you have waited to get your food? Why is the Hulk so underpowered in the MCU? He's never won a 1v1 since he's been an Avenger. Okay, for starters, he did throttle Loki. He defeated the giant wolf in Ragnarok. He beat Thor in the first Avengers movie, even though Thor was holding back so he didn't destroy the helicarrier. But narratively, they've been using the Hulk as a way to show the audience when a new villain is super powerful by having them just manhandle the Hulk. Also, everyone in the movies is underpowered compared to their comic book counterparts. That's not exclusive to the Hulk. Don't get me wrong, it'd be pretty awesome to see like World Breaker Hulk just tearing everyone apart. But from a practical standpoint, it would just be a much more expensive movie to make. Not everything in the comics translates well to live action. I think Universal also still has the film rights to the Hulk, which I'm sure limits what they can do with him. You ever see a screenshot and just think, this person's either a massive psychopath or a huge fan of Spiffing Brit. 
because someone's little brother was playing RimWorld, and they were like, what am I supposed to do with all these organs that I'm getting? And they send this. Now, for reference, I'll zoom in here. These are all organs. All those little boxes, all of them. First of all, you can sell those and get cybernetic implants instead. Second of all, what difficulty is your brother playing on? Your colony wealth is supposed to affect how hard you get raided. So is he just playing on peaceful and then kidnapping all the visitors? If so, that's super ironic. Playing on peaceful and being the only brutally violent thing in the entire game? Your little brother is literally the bad guys from the Hostel movies. I'd sleep with one eye open, just to be safe. What is the most petty moment in a sitcom? My nomination is from The King of Queens. Arthur takes advantage of Spencer to get free rides on the subway, and when he finally gets cut off, this happens. I respect that. I'll take one token, please. You got it. And, uh, this is for you. I don't know how much a self-inflating life raft was 20 years ago, but it was definitely more expensive than a subway token. Still a good show, I'd love to rewatch it sometime, but I don't know if I can stomach hearing the laugh track every five seconds. It's just way too much. What Joker moment genuinely surprised you? I saw this comic recently, Brian Azzarello's Joker, where the Joker and Two-Face were fighting over territory. A truce gets called, and they both meet at a zoo. And then we see Chekhov's gorilla, and Two-Face and his men are about to throttle the Joker, and then the gorilla just pulls out a machine gun and mows down all of Two-Face's men. And then it turns out to be Harley Quinn in a gorilla suit. Maybe if Two-Face and all his men weren't standing next to each other like they were all trying to hold hands, then some of them may have survived. That is the most cartoon-looking injury. Sideshow Bob over there even waved at him to go forward. Very unfortunate. Dude rolled a Fallout character with negative 10 luck. They took the hood off that car and it literally started fighting back. So there are some TikToks of people who are trying this air quote infinite money glitch, and it turns out it's literally just check fraud. And since the bank has all your personal info, the money quickly catches up with you. And a few people racked up between ten to $30,000 in debt trying to recreate this garbage. And even if you somehow avoided paying the debt or getting arrested, you wouldn't be able to do it a second time. The bank will just tell the other banks that you stole money from them. And I really can't feel bad for these people that fell for it because they are all literal adults and they should definitely know better. It reminds me of the DoorDash glitch where people were getting a ton of free food, and the same thing happened. The glitch got fixed, and everyone had to pay all that money back. Life lesson learned, don't take financial advice from TikTok. 